What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to be walking you through um, how to set up your Facebook business manager. Now, this is what I've been coaching small business owners on, real estate agents on um, since 2016 into 2017 ish, really, pretty much seven, 2017, 2017. Just started really diving into Facebook ads and, and learning the basics, right? And then before you knew it, I started teaching the basics. And then I ended up building an agency around the basics. And to this day, I'm still teaching real estate agents and small business owners how to, to implement the basics, right? The basics when it comes to Facebook advertising, Instagram advertising, and just and just overall social media marketing, um, primarily for local business owners. I've worked with with thousands of local business owners. Your realtor, your local, you know, your local real estate broker local realtor, right? Local business owner, your local insurance agent. You know, these are small business owners that are looking to really build a, a local brand. And that's where it becomes super effective when you can learn these different ad platforms, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever, LinkedIn. I always say, hey, find your favorite platform and learn how to run an ad on that platform. If you're a local business owner, right? If you're building organically and nationwide and you can get a customer around the world, for sure, that organic is your best friend. Post, 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 post until you freaking can't post anymore, right? Um, but if you're a local business owner, if you have a specific audience, if you're targeting a, a certain niche, a certain demographics, a certain age group, a certain affluent level, uh, uh, is that the right word, right? A, a person of, of wealth and, and, you know, like these are demographics of our ideal customer, of our ideal client, of our avatar. And that's why when it comes to marketing, people think that social media posting is marketing. It's like, dude, no, it's not. Like, like the 4,000 friends that you have on Facebook, none of them live in your local area, right? So, so, so we have to learn these basic skills. And you guys, today I'm going to be helping my, my client, Cassandra, one of my high tier client, um, higher tier, uh, uh, um, level clients, I should say, shout out to Cassandra, a top producing real estate agent with KW, with Keller Williams. Um, but I'm going to simply be going into her account, diving into her account and setting up her Facebook business manager. So if you're a local business owner, if you're a local real estate agent, um, learn how to target your area, Facebook ad, Instagram ad. This is the back end. This is the, 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 what, what, we, what, what Facebook calls your business manager. Um, and what I'll, what I'll really touch on really quick. And the reason why I'm going to set it up is because what, what I've found and what I've seen thousands of agents thousands of small business owners, what most of them don't do is they don't do this part. They don't set this up. That's why I pay attention. Stay with this video to the end because I'm going to literally walk you through step by step and I'm going to have you bookmark the only seven things you'll need to click on when it comes to setting up and, and successfully scaling your Facebook ads, Instagram ads. There's only seven things in this back end, in this business manager that you'll ever need to click on. And I'm literally going to set them all up for Cassandra right here. So wanted to walk you guys through it. Um, and, and real quick, as I was going to, as I was, as I was mentioning, what I found after just consulting with thousands of business owners, right on this basic step, you know, since 2017, um, no one really sets up their business manager. Most are boosting posts, right? How many of you are guilty of that? Comment below. Comment below if you boosted a post or if you just thought of Facebook ads as boosting a post, right? You post on your business page and then boom, you get the little blue button and it says boost post. How many of you guys boosted post, right? You don't ever want to do that. Like for many, many reasons, which I'm going to explain and I'm going to show you in detail as I walk you through here today. Huge, huge difference. That's difference on what we're going to do. So don't ever boost posts that is literally burning money. You want to boost posts, just freaking PayPal it to me. I'll freaking burn it for you, right? I'll tell you, you know, I'll, let, let me let me spend it on something, right? Because that's burning. You're just burning it. Don't boost posts. And, and and I'll go into detail again here as we move forward on, on, on why. But that's what I normally will see. Or a person will run an ad through their ads manager, which the business manager and the ads manager are very similar for sure. But that's all they that's all it is, is the ads manager. Right. So most business owners that I've came across when whenever I ask, hey, have you run a Facebook ad? And then I go and look at their business manager, which is what I'm going to set up today. And they've been running ads from their ad account their, or, or excuse me, from their personal account or boosting post. And the personal account is your ads manager. So you don't want to run it through the ads manager. You don't want to boost a post. You want to take it a step up and set up your Facebook business manager in the business manager. You now have access to the pixel. The pixel is a piece of code that you have to put on your webpage, that you have to put on your landing page, that you have to put to to to, to track any activity whatsoever, um, to report that data back to Facebook, right? So if you're if you're if you're promoting anything online, it could be anything, Shopify, whatever. You have a freaking presence on the internet. Facebook pixel is what goes on that page. You now have access to it through the Facebook business manager, your custom audiences, which we'll get into your custom conversion. Now I can really start tracking and really scaling up my ads through the business manager. So here's what we're going to do, you guys. Um, buckle up, 
comment below if, if you want me to help you. Like, reach out to me. Let me help you set this up. You're going to see it here and, and how simple it can be. But but if you need help with this, comment below. Any questions, comment below. Um, and, and I'll be happy to answer them right away. So let's get started. Let's set up the Facebook Business Manager. This is 2023 and beyond. And I'm actually going to take you through from, from the beginning. So this is her personal profile, right? So if you guys are on your, on your Facebook personal profile, just go to your home, go to your newsfeed. On the left-hand side, normally you'll see ads manager. Um, and if you don't see it here at the top to the left, click on see all. But this is Facebook is constantly changing. They just changed again on me literally three seconds ago when I clicked on see all. Normally when you click on see all, you'll see your ads manager tab. And that's where I normally have you go in in through um, the ads manager. But here in this case, I'll still click on see all. And then now I guess it'll take me just, I'll click on the ad um, and it'll bring me over here. I'll go to meta business suite. And then from over here, I'll click on these three lines and then I'll go, yeah, all tools. And then I'll find the ads manager right here. Okay. Now what I really want, what I really want is I want the business settings. Here's the page settings and, and I'll get there. Yeah, I don't see business settings, but I'll get there from the ads manager. So that's what I want to do. I want to take you guys through the right way. So that's how you get here. This is where we want to be, right? This is where we want to be. But where we ultimately want to be is we want to be in the business settings. So we want to see which accounts she has or anyone has, if you have, like, right? So follow my lead here. Follow my lead. Follow my lead. Hit the three lines. Go to business settings, right? Business settings. That's going to bring you over here. So what you're looking for is, is, is hit this drop down in the top left. What you're looking for is you're looking for the business account. Do you have a business account? And if you don't have a business account right here, then you wouldn't even be seeing this right now. It would have taken you straight to the to the, to the the create a, an account beginner login page, and you would have started there. And then you would have named it whatever you want, Cassandra Voigt. Right, you would have named it whatever you want, and that's cool. And then once you name it there, save, boom, next. Then it brings you here. Okay, so some of you guys came here right away. Some of you guys had to, had to, had to set the account up, and you named it. Now you have a business account name, right? You just named it three seconds ago, right? Now you're here. Now you're here. So in this case with Cassandra, this bottom account, this is where people boost post, right? So by default, you have a personal Facebook page. You have a business page now. You think you're in business and, 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 and all that. You got a Facebook business page. Boom. You post over there. Now you're now you're boosting posts. Those, those, those assets and those um and that account is in this bottom one. Right. So by default, we all have a, a boosted post account. We all have an ads manager. That's the bottom account. What you want to do, and, and that's this is what I've been teaching, you know, for years now. What you want to do is you want to set up a business account. And you don't have to have a legitimate LLC. You don't have to have a tax ID number or anything like that, an EIN. No, it could just, you could name it whatever the hell you want. So so in this case, she just named it Cassandra Voigt, right? And I'm going to go in and we're going to rename everything because I'm going to really optimize this for her um, and, and just keep everything stupid simple. Um, and so and so we'll rename this, but that's the name of the business account. So that's what you want to do, right? That's what you want to do. Now, here's what I'm going to have you guys do next. Here's what I'm going to have you guys do next. Now, right here at the top, I'm over here using a PC. Some of you guys are on Mac, but right here in my bookmarks um, in the blue blue space, right? I want to right click. I'm going to go add folder and I'm going to just name this one Cassie. This is, and, and what I want you guys to name yours is FB Business Manager. FB Business Manager, right? I'm going to just put this for, for whatever for now. Um, because this, I'm just doing this for the video for training purposes, but, but that's what you guys want to do. That's what you guys want to do, right? That's what you want to do and have a bookmark folder, have a folder at the top. So boom, now what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to, we're going to bookmark. So let me save this. So now boom, right here at the top, I got my folder, right? FB business manager. This is my freaking folder. Now I'm in business. So here's what I want to do. And here's what I'd coach my clients on. I take people literally by the hand. I'm giving you the game right here on YouTube. So shout out to all my YouTube fans that are watching this, man. Come below, hit the bell, hit the like. If you're not going to subscribe, because many people watch this, watch my videos and watch videos in general, us as consumers, we watch billions of hours of content on YouTube from channels that we're not even subscribed to. So I get it. A lot of you guys that are watching this, you're probably not subscribed. You're probably not going to subscribe. Hit the thumb just to like the damn thing. Just give me some love that way. I freaking appreciate you from here to the moon. Um, just, just give me a freaking thumbs up. Um, but now what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to fill in this folder with the top seven. OK, and that's what I teach clients. So so if you want me to walk you by the hand, this is a high tier 
VIP client. That's why I'm literally doing it for her. And, and I said, Hey, Cassie, I'm going to make a YouTube video out of it and out of it and share it with my freaking fam on YouTube. And she's all, hell yeah, knock it out. So, so, so that's what we're doing here. So, so if you want me to help you with this, you guys reach out to me, reach out to me, reach out to me. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to fill up that folder. We're going to fill up that folder and we're going to keep it simple. And what we want to do first is click on pages. This will be this will be our first bookmark. You want to, pages? Obviously, that that's your page. If you don't see your page here, click on add. Go to you don't need to, if you don't even have a page, then yeah, create a new page from here. Have it connected to the Cassandra Voy business account. This is the new business account. This this cre create a page. You can always create a page from here. But if you already have a page, if you already have a page, you're gonna add a page. That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna add a page. Okay. Um. So in this case, we already added her uh, KW page right there. And then you gotta always always make sure that your name is here at the bottom. If you don't see your name at the bottom, it's gonna you're gonna click on add people. Click on this box to to the left, and then just make sure you full control yourself. Right. So, so you're just, I'm going to take you through literally connecting the dots. That's what we're doing here. We're just connecting the dots. Um, that's what this is all about. Um, this whole business manager. And again, the, the, not, not again, but let me kind of bring it up now. Why even set this up? Right. Cause some of you guys are like, dude, I'm, I'm good. I'm boosting posts. I'm good at just running it through, through my bottom account, which is my account down here. That's where I can just access my ads manager. I can freaking hit the green button, run an ad. And I don't got to worry about none of this shit. Why all this, David? Right. Some of you guys are like, I already lost some of you guys. You're like, what the hell is all that? The reason why we're sent the business manager, the reason why you want to access and only run things out of the out of the account at the top now is because again, now you're able to collect all the data, the pixel data, the custom audience data. Um, um, you can create custom audiences. You can, you can, you can really, really scale the account because you now have these other assets. You now have a domain integrated with Facebook, right? And then that's right here, domain. We're gonna integrate the domain. So so, so now you just ha have access to, to the real hardcore data that's needed in order to, to, to build this brand that you're trying to do. So here, page right there, boom. And let's make this our first bookmark. We're gonna name this one business settings. Just keep it that simple, business settings and put it in the Cassandra, the Cassie folder. Bam, done, done. That's one of seven, done. Ad account is the next one. Ad account is the next one. So most of you guys, again, that, that haven't done this part, um, or maybe you have and you're just like, damn, David, I'm still lost. So thank God you're doing this because um, it make, it, it's making a lot of sense. If that's you, give me, just like the damn video. Just hit the like. You ain't got to comment. You ain't got to subscribe. Just freaking show me some love and like it if this is making sense. Um, and we're just getting started. So stay with me because this is the only video you'll need. And even if you are trying to build a business online, you're going to need someone to run your Facebook ads, someone to run your YouTube ads, someone to run your freaking Instagram ad, or you're going to need to need to know how to do that, do that stuff yourself. Here, this one damn video is going to show you it all. This is the basic foundation. None of the Instagram ad, Facebook ad, none of that stuff matters if I don't understand this basic part. So this video, man, I'm telling you, save it, share it, freaking don't lose this video, okay, because this is all you really need. Um, so ad account, this is what's tied to the credit card, right? This is what's tied to the credit card. So here, um, I don't obviously don't have that credit card, but I'll set it up. I'll create new ad account. I'll create new ad account, and I'll still somewhat set it up. And we're going to go with, we're going to go with, um, the name she's using for all of real estate, which is the name she's branding is Cassandra or sold by Cassandra, sold by Cassandra, sold by Cassandra. That's what we're going to go with sold. And she sold by Cassandra. Yeah. We're going to go with that name. We're going to go with sold by, and you can name this whatever you guys, but stick with me. What I do is I, I, I want everything is to, to be consistent, right? So I, I go with this, whatever name, I'm coaching a client on, on, on branding on social media, the username, right? Instagram.com forward slash sold by Cassandra, Facebook.com forward slash sold by Cassandra, right? That's what I teach. That's step one in my whole five-step blueprint is customizing your links. If you have that username, make sure you have that username on every platform, regardless if you use Pinterest or not, secure the name, right? That's your name. So over here, what I also try to do is, is keep it uniform, right? Keep it keep it consistent. So that's her name. So I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to go with that. Um, and I'm going to leave Soul by Cassandra for everything. So that's that time zone. She's actually, um, she's not Los Angeles. She is, she's, yeah, she's Phoenix. Yeah, perfect. And then US dollars. So what I can do is I can take her this far, but obviously I don't have the card information. Because here, so this is the ad account, right? This is the ad account. You're going to check the circle, make sure you're tied to everything, full control, assign, 
add payment info. This is where the credit card information would go, right? Or, or um, yeah, amount of time, perfect. Or you could you could PayPal it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take it this far and then I'll leave it and then I'll just I'll just leave it right here and then it'll just be pending, right? So so we'll just go debit. Yeah, and then it'll take us to this part, and then boom, we'll just come back to that. So that's the ad account. That's where the credit card is, pay, is, is tied to, right? So when you're in your Facebook ads, Instagram ads, boom, it's tied to that to that credit card. Now, assets it might be too early to, to add assets. We'll come back to that, but we're gonna connect. We're gonna connect some assets as well. So that's the ad account. Now, here's the deal. Here's the deal. This is the second bookmark. This is ad account. This is ad account. Okay, ad account. Make sure it's in our folder, right? Make sure it's in our folder, and boom, done. We got our second bookmark of seven. So now we're moving along. Now we're moving along. Um, and I'll show you where to put that credit card information. We're, that's going to be another bookmark um, um, here in, in the next few minutes. So so hold, 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 stay with me. So so here's the deal too, you guys. This ad account ID number, this ad account ID number is 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 important too. Now, now there's nothing you guys can do with it. So that's why, you know, hiding it. I don't even really need to need to do that right now because there's nothing, nothing. You have to be a super crazy hacker to be watching my videos right now to even know what the hell to do with this number. Um, and, and I don't think any crazy, crazy, I don't know, dude. I don't know. Some of you guys probably are crazy. I don't know. I don't know. But but hopefully I don't have any super crazy hackers following my channel here. Um, and keep it all real, man. Keep it all real. It's all good. It's all love. Like, let me help you with this stuff, you guys. But this is the ad account ID number. This is the ad account ID number, right? Um so in the event that anything happens to your Facebook, anything in, in the event they get to reach out to Facebook and ask any question whatsoever, normally they'll ask, and it's the first question, what's the ad account ID number? And, that, and that's the number right there. So you want to bookmark that, that becomes a bookmark. The next one, make sure your Instagram account, make sure your Instagram account is connected right here. So when you start running IG ads, it's it's optimized over here. It's configured over here. Um, because what you want to do is you got to also add asset, which you're going to add the ad account. So you're going to tell Facebook, you're going to tell Facebook any ad that I have running on Instagram, charge this ad account, right? So that's what I just did right there. I done it right there. Boom. We're good right there. Now, what I want to do is I want to, and that's not a bookmark. So I'm not going to bookmark that. I'm good on the bookmarks right now. Next, I'm going to hit data, data sources, and I'm going to go to pixel. This is what I want. This is the money. This is what has to go on my website, no matter what website you're using on the internet, right? This is what you want to put on your website, regardless if you're actually even running Facebook ads, have it on your website, like at least have these custom audiences set up. So, so you're at least capturing organic data. If you're even getting organic data, which, 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 which is a whole myth, right? Most of us think that, okay, because I have a website and I, and I look professional, people are freaking finding it. No, they're not. Hell no. Hell no, that couldn't be farther from the truth. You guys, that's a super myth that just because you know you're online or just because you have a freaking website, people are finding it. No, they're not. No, they're not. Like you got to be running traffic or, or your website has to be hardcore Google SEO'd. And, and if you're a rookie, you don't know none about none of that shit. So, so, so chances are you got a blog. You don't even got, you know, a full-blown website. But again, even full-blown websites, I work with a lot of real estate agents. Their companies, Keller Williams, freaking EXP, Coldwell, compass fancy ass websites that they give to every agent right but but even even these websites as fancy as they are they're not getting traffic the actual agent website no dude you got to market that you got to freaking run traffic to it right and so and so the pixel the pixel has to go on everything has to go on everything so here's what we do we name it the same exactly what i named the ad account i'm now naming the pixel i'm keeping everything the same so i'm going to hit continue I'm going to take this over here. I'm going to hit set up the pixel now. I want to go manually add code to website and then boom, click right there. Copied the pixel. Now I have a pixel. Now I have the pixel. Here's what I always recommend as well. Email it to yourself just for the hell of it. I'm going to have you bookmark it. That's going to be a bookmark. Um, and then, and then once you actually, once you actually, um, 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 let me um, open this up. Once you actually, um, put that pixel on a page, then it'll be active. Um, and then you can always grab it from that page. So you'll have a copy of it here in your, in your email. I always recommend email it to yourself and then you'll always have a bookmark and then you'll always have it on any website that you're currently trying to, trying to run. Right. So, so in this case, here's what we're going to do. I have her pixel and I also have her Kartra. So I'm going to, I'm going to log into her Kartra here and I'm going to add the pixel and whatever website, um, um, service or or, or um, software you guys are using um 
it's pretty much all the same. So here I use Kartra. For, for any of you guys that are online, trying to do anything online, landing pages, first of all, are a must, right? So, so whatever software you guys may be using out there, it's all the same. Like you just come into the settings, Wix, website builder, whatever. It's all the same. Go into the settings, find the pixel, find the pixel. So with Kartra here, um, for any of you guys trying to build anything online, Kartra is what I've been using since 2018. I built an entire business around, around freaking Kartra. I have hundreds of videos on this YouTube channel on Kartra. The basics of Kartra, like it, because because at the price point, it's like, dude, there's nothing, there's nothing I've came across that that that's better. Not even ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels is freaking still dominant, number one, but it's 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 much more expensive. It's much more freaking complicated, in my professional opinion, um, and it doesn't have all the services that I actually need. If I'm in the service based business, if I'm in the client relations business, if my whole business evolves around getting someone on the phone, right, talking to people one on one, right, that's a real estate agent. That's an insurance agent. That's a freaking plumber. That's a freaking landscaper, right? That's a that's a notary, right? You're you're dealing with with clients, right? You're in the client services business, right? And 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 that that's that's a lot of us. That's a lot of us. That's that's the majority of small businesses. They're mom and pops, right? So so when it comes down to it, we're all now trying to build something online. We're all now trying to build a presence on social media. The whole magic is getting people off. The whole magic is, yeah, making the connection, communicating, building your audience and building your tribe, but then also getting that person off, getting them, ethically bribing them to come off. And that's in the in, in the form of a free download, a free PDF, a free webinar, a free case study, a free class, a free training, whatever it may be, right? That That's what we typically see. That's what gets that person to click off of Instagram, come over to your landing page, opt in for whatever because they're interested in it, right? And, and it's good information. It's value. But that's what it's all about is the back end. The back end, that's Kartra. The landing page, the email autoresponder. So the moment I come to her page and I enter my name and email because I want more information regarding this listing, right? Here's the, here's the real estate agent, right? I click the button. I enter my name and email. Boom. Automated emails go out. Hey, Dave, blah, 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 right? These are basic automations, you guys, basic tools that automate our online presence, that on that automate our online business. Um, and, and really now marketing, you know, really, really plays its part, plays its part. Um, and so here's what I'm doing. Here's what I'm doing in the settings. Here's in the settings, in the settings, in the settings, tracking code. Let me paste in this pixel really quick, apply. And all I'm gonna do is actions, publish live, and I'm going to grab this link here so we can test it. And what I do is I have this simply, let me get out of here. I have this simple software. It's a plugin that sits at the top. Facebook, download this if you haven't already. Facebook Pixel Helper. It's free. It's just a plugin. You want to go to the group to the Chrome Google Store. So if you're on the Mac, you know, same thing. You could just go to the Chrome Google Store, Facebook Pixel Helper, and then just install this. Right, you'll hit the blue button, install, and then boom, it'll just sit here at the top. And it's this gray box. So whenever I'm on a website, it'll let me know if that person's pixeling me, right? Which I don't care. I don't care who the hell is pixeling me. I don't care. I don't care about none of that. I have it just to test my pixels, just to test my pages, just to make sure my shit's firing, right? And then that's what I'm gonna do here. So, so in this case right here, I'm on I'm on Google's page, right? There's no Facebook pixel on their page, right? They're tracking me in a million other ways. Um but if I go to her website, so now her new web page that I just put the pixel on, boom, this thing lights up. Boom, this thing lights up. So look at that. So now it tells me right here, boom, sold by Cassandra is the name of the pixel, um, and, and, and it's picking up. So that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted, right? So now one more page real quick, and I'll, and I'll bypass this part for you guys. I'll be right back. What I just did is I just added it. I just added it to the thank you page. So now I have a now I have a, a, a landing page. My squeeze page has has that has that pixel on it. Boom. So now when people come here, whether I'm posting this link on Facebook, Instagram, running an ad, whatever, now Facebook can start tracking those who land here. Super, super important, you guys. That's the that's the first page, the squeeze page, the thank you page I just set up. So now here's what we want to do. So back to here, we're gonna scroll down and just make sure that number two is turned on. Okay, so we're gonna turn that on, make sure that that's turned on. Um, and then where did it go? Where did it go? Um, actually, I just lost it. Okay, so turning it on took me straight here. So we're good. So right here, pixels, right here, pixels. Now your green dot may be red. In the very, very beginning, it's red. 
you just put the pixel on the page, right? We just put the pixel on the page. So what you want to do is just refresh the page, refresh the page, let Facebook read that pixel for the first time, which they just did. Then I can come back to the, the pixel page. And here's what I want to do. Refresh this page and then boom, that dot would turn green, right? So you'll go from red dot to green dot. And then here's what you want to do. You want to always add people, always add people, add yourself. You need full control, assign, and that's it. That's it. Now that your pixels right there, but we're not going to, we're not going to bookmark it from here. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you where to bookmark it um, um, from next. And in fact, you know what, let's just, let's just do that now. Let's bookmark it from there now. So, so right here, pixels, what I, I'm going to have you bookmark it from over here. We're going to click on right here, top right, open an events manager. We're going to open an events manager and I'm going to have you bookmark it from over here because this is where, again, I had you email it to yourself. I had you email it to yourself. Um, um, you now have it on a web page. We now have it on, on Kartra in this case, right? But if you ever want to grab it from here, this is where you're going to grab it. That's why I have you bookmark this page. So again, we clicked on we clicked on events manager, but you can always do it from here, the three lines in the top left as well. So you'll always see the three lines. And if you're on any of my videos, you'll always catch me talking about the three lines, three lines, three lines, three lines in the top left. You can always get it from here as well. So three lines, events manager. That's going to take me straight here. I want to make sure in the top left, um, let's go back to events manager. In the top left, data sources we want to come back over here and we just want to bookmark this page so we're going to bookmark this one hit the star this one is pixel and this is going in the cassie folder done now in the future in the future you'll always have this bookmark right you now have this bookmark in the future all you're going to do is scroll down just a bit and you're coming to add events from a new website install code manually copy code that's it you could take it all the way through if you want continue make sure these are all blue make sure they're all blue if if they're if they're not all blue turn that off turn that off turn it back on they're all blue continue 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 go to pixel overview that's it so you should have bookmarked this page right hit the star in the top right bookmark this page and you can always get your pixel from a new website install code manually copy code that's it. I could continue if I want, but I could leave it as like that. I got the code in my hand. Boom. There it is there. Right. So, so that's, that's, um, that's another bookmark. So, so far you guys, so far we got business settings, add account pixel. Now what we want to do, let's go back. Let's go back. Let me go back. Um, now our next bookmark is going to be right here, the ads manager. So to get here, three lines in the left, everything is three lines. Click on ads manager right? Ads manager. And then we're going to simply hit the drop down, see more ad accounts. And we're going to, we're going to go with our soul by Cassandra, our soul by Cassandra. We're going to go with that one. Okay. So it's the top one. Click on the top one, bookmark this. This is the new and right here. No, we don't need, need any of that. Um, this is the new ads manager. This is the new ad account, which is sold by Cassandra on where we'll run our future ads from, right? When it comes to this particular, when this, when it comes to this um, actual business. So we're going to hit the star. This is going to be ads manager in that folder. That's it. Next one, we're going to go back to, we're going to go back to business settings because what we want to do here real quick um, is we want to also, we want to also um, integrate the domain. Okay. So what you want to do is click on brand safety, go to domains, and right here is where you're going to add your domain. So um, we're not going to request access to a domain. We're going to create a new domain, which is a domain that you already have in GoDaddy, for example, right? So whatever your domain is, and this is a domain that, that you really want to be sending to a landing page. I wouldn't be running any ads, you guys, to your fancy website. So if you guys are watching this and you're in real estate and you got a fancy website or whatever, any other business, you guys got a fancy website. Don't run ads to your fancy website. You got to be running ads to a landing page. Um, so there's a 14-day trial. I've been using Kartra since 2018. Anyone that sets up a 14-day trial gets my time for free um, where I take you by the hand. I train you. I teach you. Um, you you get access to my course and, and all my coaching um, when it comes to just launching simple sales funnels, landing pages, membership sites, um, email autoresponders. All that is in Kartra. So I always tell people, dude, just compare it. Whatever software you're using now, ClickFunnels, freaking Kajabi, MailChimp, AWeber, Whatever, whatever software you're using now, just simply compare it to Kartra. That's all I say. Activated 14-day trial. 
I'll email you my schedule and we'll chat. Okay. So right here, right here is where you put your email. So I would put, in fact, it's, it's the same one. It's sold by Cassandra, sold by Ca Cassandra.com. And again, so so you can put here, you could put any website address really, but it's really the, the website address that you're going to be running ads to. And so if you have a .com and it's simply going to a fancy website right now, you could put it here for right now. You could put it here. You could put it here. But I, I'm not, I'm just saying, I don't recommend running ads to that, right? You want to be running ads to a landing page, to a landing page to capture the lead, um, or even to a Facebook form, even to a Facebook lead form, um, for sure. But you got to integrate the domain. So integrate your domain. So it's sold by Cassandra dot com i'm pretty sure that's her that's her um that's her email let me just double check it is sold by cassandra sold by cassandra sold by cassandra sold by cassandra one s yeah so that's yeah that looks right okay cool and then add and then here's what you want to do you guys here's what you want to do here's what you want to do right here in the drop down you're going to you're going to hit the drop down and you're going down to T DNS text. You're going to DNS text, okay? DNS text, DNS text. And then we're going to follow instruction number 2. We're going to click on instruction number 2, the bold link, facebook-domain-verification equals 97. Just click on it and then boom, it copies. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go into GoDaddy and I'll take you through the entire DNS. It's super simple once you know how to get to it. Okay, so I don't have her GoDaddy, but I'm gonna I'm gonna use this one as an example. It's the same exact thing. Just go to your domains. Go to your domains, right? Just go to your domains. Let's just say, for example, it was it was this domain right here. Um, let's say let's say Colorado Relocation Specialist. Click on that domain, and all we're gonna do is we're looking for managed DNS. Okay, you're looking for managed DNS. Click on that, and then all we want are the records. We want to get to the DNS records, okay? So now, Facebook, right here, go to your domain registrar, log into your account, and find the DNS records, right? And then now, follow the instructions to add a text record in your DNS configuration. So we want to add a text record, a DNS text record. And here's how we do it. All we do is click on add. The type is TXT. It tells you right there, the at sign or email, but we're going to go with at sign. So I'm going to just hit um, the at sign. And then the value, I paste in that link. Default, TTL, default, leave that as is, add record. And that's it. That is it for GoDaddy. Now, what we want to do, now, now, yeah. So now what we want to do is we want to go back to Facebook and click verify domain. Sometimes that happens. Most of the time it happens in five seconds. Sometimes it could take five minutes. Sometimes it could take 55. But but as long as you as long as you 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 set it up on the GoDaddy side, it's successes. And then boom, come over here, verify domain a few times if needed. Normally one time. Now in this case, I used a different, completely different, different domain. So that it's not going to verify at all. But that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Um Verify domain and then boom, that's that's good. And then the last part over here before we move on, the last part is the business info. You want to come in here and make sure that all of this information is 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 filled out. You don't need tax ID. You don't need an LLC or or any type of corporation for quote unquote legal business name. So put whatever. Um, in fact, let me just put. Um, I'll just put, I'll just put sold by. Actually, I'll just put. Yeah, perfect. And then, and then, um, yes. Yeah, so oh, damn! You got to fill everything. I'll have her do that. But, um, but here at the top, here at the top, edit the primary page. You type in, you type in your name or your page name, and you'll see the drop down. Always, always, always go with the drop down. Do not just type something in and expect it to save. Always go with the drop down. If you don't see the drop down, you're not typing it in the right way. Okay, one hundred percent. Always wait for the drop down. There's a drop down. I'm gonna save. I'm going to refresh the page and then the profile picture updates. That's what I want. Now I'm legit. Now I'm legit. Now I'm legit. Okay. But again, I want the business details. Do not need the tax ID. Um, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. What you do want to do is you want to set up this, this two-factor authentication. Set this up to everyone, right? Set this up to everyone. And then also verify this email. This email needs to be verified, which I'm going to have uh, verified right now. Um, 
you're going to enter the email. So let's enter, we're going to enter the email and then we're going to simply confirm it on your email. So once you enter your email right there, you guys, you're going to, you're going to go to your email and confirm it. Make sure you do that for sure. Okay. So let's do that. Let's do that now. Perfect. You guys We're good there. Now we're out of the business settings. We're out of the business settings. Um, we went to the ads manager already. So now what do we have in our folder? We have in our folder, we have, we have business settings, ad accounts, pixel ads manager. We're going to click the three dot or the three lines in the top left. Let's go to billing. Let's go to billing. Let's go to billing. We're going to go to billing. We're going to click on payment settings and we're going to bookmark it from here. Okay. We're going to bookmark it from here. This is billing, billing done. Okay. Now, you can always know your balance. You'll always know what card is on file. Um, down here, you always want to make sure you fill this out as well. This has to be filled out as well. Actually, I think I got to fill it all out. But that this part needs to be filled out. So Cassie, shout out to Cassie. Um, when you're, while you're watching this, go fill this part out. Go fill this part out, and it's right here in billing. Okay, right here in billing. And again, everything I'm bookmarking, you guys, is pretty much right here to the left, right on the three lines. So everything I'm bookmarking is, is there. But again, this is just overwhelming right when you're we're looking at all this crap we're like dude where do we even start it's a seven the seven bookmarks that's all you're gonna need that's all you're gonna need um but make sure you come down here business info fill that out um and that's that's a bookmark now the next bookmark the next bookmark we're gonna go to the three lines and we're gonna go to audiences audiences is literally what it's all about audiences i truly believe 99 percent of social media marketing is about audiences creating your custom audiences and retargeting those who engage that's it um the person who can keep getting in front of the person who can keep getting in front of you wins bottom line bottom line bottom line um so we're going to come over here, create a custom audience, and these are all the different sources that you can create an audience around. So if you had a customer list, imagine having a list of all of your the past 400 customers of your business. You could take that list, upload it to Facebook, and say, hey, Facebook, here's 400 of my actual customers, people who gave me money. Right, they're people who actually purchased from me. Here's 400. You, you actually, to tell you the truth, let me, let me, let me, let me really make this real. You need a little bit. You need a little bit more than 400. Let's say you get a thousand, a thousand, one thousand, one thousand. You got one thousand name and emails, one thousand name and phone numbers on a list. These are these are one thousand of your. These are these are. This is a list of one thousand of your past customers, right? However the hell you say that, you know what I'm. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, and so and so. That's crazy, right? A thousand. Upload that list. Facebook will go out there and mirror. Facebook will go out there and find millions of people, mil millions of more people that resemble them, right? Buying patterns, clicking patterns, um, opting in patterns, all these different data points. Facebook can find you a million more people who resemble your 1,000 customers. Insanely, insanely powerful when it comes to custom audiences and customer list. Apply that to whatever business you're in. That can be powerful. What I teach a lot and what, what happens a lot is simple custom audiences around websites. You got certain web pages on, on your website. Create a custom audience around every single link. You got a buyer guide page, create a custom audience. A seller guide page, create a custom audience. All these different links that we have online should be custom audiences. And that's exactly how people know that you're looking at that red handbag. That's how people know you're looking at that freaking blue ball cap, right? Because you clicked on something you, you did not purchase, you left. That person captured your audience, captured their audience, captured the data in an audience, and and now they're showing you another another ad. Powerful, powerful stuff, you guys. Website is what is what is used a lot. Video is what's used, I think, the most. Um, tracking those who watch a percentage of your video, super powerful. So all you guys that are putting out video content, man, thinking that you're 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 thinking that you're marketing just because you posted it on your Facebook personal page and you got seventeen hundred friends. It's like, dude. First of all, ninety nine percent of them you don't know. Second of all, 99% of them don't even live in your area. So if you're a local business owner, you're screwed, right? So putting out video just like that organically for the hell of it when you're when when it's not even going out to your ideal audience is a waste of time in my professional opinion. When you're running ads on videos, when you're running ads on videos, you're a real estate agent, you're putting out ads, you're running video ads, you're targeting a local area, you're capturing the audience of those who watch it, right? So you put out a two-minute video, you come over here and you create a custom audience around those who watch 30 seconds of it. You put them in this audience, you turn around, show them another ad. That's how you take over. Before you know it, they're seeing you again. 
You do the same thing second time around. By the time you go run your third ad, you're now retargeting everyone who watched ad number one and number two. You get to ad number four, you're now retargeting everyone who watched ad number one, two, and three. So now you're just, you, you keep building this brand. You keep getting in front of people because you're tracking the data. This is all the stuff you could do now, you guys, in the business manager. It's what you could not do in your basic account. That's why we're here, right? So so video is where, is where in fact, let's do one right now. We're going to do video. It's really those customer list, website, and video. That's it. I don't recommend any lead form. If you guys are, if you guys do not have landing pages and you're capturing leads using Facebook lead forms, super powerful. A lot of that going on in 2023 and beyond lead forms, create custom audiences around lead forms as well, for sure. I don't recommend Instagram account, Facebook page, unless you're, or unless you're building something nationwide and global, then yeah, maybe, maybe create audiences around and you have a very, very, very um, general product or service and you can help a lot of people. Um, well, I mean, everybody can help a lot of people, but you know what I mean? Where where you're actually, where your demographics and your marketing can, can span. Unlike a local business owner, that's why with a local business owner, I do not recommend creating audiences around Instagram and Facebook. Because again, you get people that follow you from all over the damn place. So I don't need you guys on my in my audience. I don't need to run an ad unless I have a unless I have just a, a, an overall general product. But if I'm a local business owner, you know, I don't care about anyone that's following me on Instagram. They don't live in my area, right? So 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 it's really video website and customer lists. Let's do one right now real quick on video so we can at least bookmark this page and um and 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 and, and get this thing wrapped up. Here's all the different timestamps. So this is powerful you guys. You're doing a 1 minute video, track those who watch it for 15 seconds. You're doing a 2 minute video, track those who watch 25% of it. Right? It's like, dude, this is this is crazy powerful. So so for just for the for the example here, I'm going to and what I normally do too <laughs> is I'll normally do 15 seconds to 25%. Let's do 15 seconds. Let's choose the video. And then so she'll have, she has quite a few different videos on here. Um, let's make sure we're in the right account, which we are. You'll up here in the top right, you'll see different pages if you do have different pages. Um, so always double check that. Um, moving during the holidays. Let's just, let's just grab any of these videos. We can grab any of them. Confirm. And then the retention, I normally bring that down. I'll bring it way, way down. Um, I'll have Facebook keep people who have watched 15 seconds of this video um, in the past 45 days. They'll be in this audience, okay? And this is just um, example example video, um, 15 seconds. Okay, cool. And that's how you create it. You guys create audience and that's it. So, so as you put out this video content, you guys, you're putting it on Facebook, you're putting it on Instagram, create the audience, create the audience, get people to, 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 to be in this bucket that you can just leverage in the future. Right. And again, the, the, um, the time, the days, the, 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 um, what do they call it? The freaking, um, um, the, um, what the hell did I set? I the freaking, what did I do? The, um, I forgot what the, the damn name of it was. Um, the duration. Oh, it's gonna bug me. Let's go to let's let's do another one. Um, because it's gonna freaking bug the heck out of me. Um, create audience, custom audience, video. What I'm refer the retention, the retention, the retention, the retention. Yeah. So I set it to 45 days. So now, yeah, just just in this audience for the past 45 days, th those people will be there. That's powerful, you guys. So here, boom, bookmark this. Bookmark this. This is custom audiences. Custom audiences. Bam, in that folder, done. We have one last bookmark. We're going to go three lines. We're going to go events manager. But the audiences, you guys, is what it's all about. It's what it's all about. It's what it's all about. Always click up here, the drop down. Make sure you're in your account with the profile picture. Top right, super, super important. And now, now we're here. Um, so now over here on the left-hand side, all we're going to do is click on custom conversions. And we don't actually know what we do. We do have our custom conversion. I'm literally going to show you how to do a custom conversion right here, right now, you guys. I was going to just bookmark it, but 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 I have I have I have Cassie's um, Cassandra's thank you page. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm going to bring up both pages. I'm going to bring up both pages. We have a we have a landing page and we have a thank you page, right? So there's the landing page. Here is the thank you page. Okay, so when it comes to ads, when it comes to ads, let's say for example, and I'm actually gonna go, I'm gonna go and we'll look at a we'll look at a real live ad. We'll just go, we'll look at a random ad. Let me go to the news feed. So I'm in I'm in her her account right now. Shout out to Cassie. Um 
if I just go home, scroll down, see what my friends are up to, see what everyone's posting, and then boom, I see a sponsored ad. As that person clicks on learn more, as they click on learn more, they're coming straight to this one page, right? Straight to this one page. So that this is, let's just say, yeah, it's an ad. They click, they're coming straight to this one page. As they opt in, as they opt in and they put their name and email, they land on the second page. The second page is the custom conversion. So what I want to do is I want to get the link, copy that link. I want to get that link, bring it over to Facebook. And this is the name. The name is, is it, what I do is I'll name 14, 14777 West Alex, Alexandria. And in this case, you guys can 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 name your your it's 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 the thank you page, right? It's the thank you page. That's what I'm normally that's what I'm naming. This is this is the custom conversion. This is simply telling Facebook out of my two pages, I got my I got my thank I got my squeeze page, I got my landing page, right? I got my landing page, and I have my thank you page. Out of these two pages, which page is more important? We're simply telling Facebook it's the thank you page. If I can get people to land on this thank you page, I'm going to be capturing a ton of leads. Right. And and that's kind of a question that I'll normally ask people. Like when I'm talking to my clients, I'll say, hey, let me show you an example and I'm going to teach you something at the same time. When you see an ad, what do you what do you think the main objective is? What's the main objective? I'll always ask this question to my clients. What is the main objective? Agents, the habits you create determine your your chances of success. Click below to discover the seven habits of highly successful real estate agents. What is the objective? Is it is it to get me to read it? Is it get is it to get me to comment? Is it to get me to click? Like, what's the objective? What what I'll get ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the time is a person will tell me, well, David, it's to get me to click. Okay, is that is that really the objective? You get one answer, and they'll like they're like, yeah, David, it's to give them a click. Is it is it to get people to freaking click? Okay, let's go with that. You get one answer. That's what you get. It's to get people to click. Here's what happens when you when you give that answer to Facebook or when you give that objective and you give that, you know, you set that up. Here's what Facebook does. Facebook says, OK, David, there's thirty seven thousand people who clicked. There you go. It's going to be nine hundred bucks. Great doing business with you, David. They're going to give me thousands and thousands of people that did exactly what I need, what I asked it to do, which was to click. Okay, cool, dude. There's your freaking click. That's not the objective, right? Now that now I'm now some of you guys are like, holy shit. Okay, that makes sense. If I just get if I just if I just get people to click, they land here. This is and keeping current matters. Shout out to keeping current matters. I know they're a huge media company in the real estate space, but holy cow. Your guys' marketing sucks. Like you guys are taking me to a full blown website, right? You're taking me to a full blown website, full blown website, and and all they're really doing, all they're really doing, though. So I don't want to hate on them too, too bad. Now, now a form pops up, you know, freaking scrolls later. So I'm not hating on them a, a, at all. Keep, shout out to Keeping Current Matters, super freaking powerful company. So let me give them the benefit of the doubt. This is definitely not capturing leads. So, so. What they're doing, let's say, for example, and here's their pixel. Look how much data they're collecting on me. They don't have just one pixel tracking me. They have two. These guys know what they're doing. So they're not sending me to a page to capture lead because that's not their objective. But their objective is to get people to click. Here's what happened. I clicked. I came here. Now I got Facebook pixeled. Now all they're doing, they're probably running this ad at a super, super, super low budget because all they're trying to do is get people to click so they can come and they could track you. So now you're in an audience. Now, now I'll come back to Facebook tomorrow and see another ad from Keeping Current Matters. So shout out to them. They know what the hell they're doing, right? Shout out to them. Um, but most people, most small business owners, most real estate agents um, don't have that budget just to freaking throw out something to, to get you to my page where there's no lead conversion and, 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 um, and, and, and there's no, there's no real, real monetary benefit, Right. But 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 for me to spend money and just capture the audience, I'd rather just run a lead ad and capture a lead, right? Because that's the business I'm in. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's here's where we're going with it. Here's where we're going with it. As I now, 
as, as I as I now click on that ad, right? My objective is not to get, is not to get people to click. That's what, that's what you would say. Well, David, it's it's to get me to click on the ad. Okay, dude, there's your click. You just got fifty five thousand clicks and no one converted. That's a that's a click ad. We don't want clicks. We want conversions. So Facebook again just wants to know what the conversion page is when they opt in. What is a conversion? It's when they land here. It's when they land on this link. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this link, you guys, take it over to the events manager. I'm going to name it the thank you page. So 14777 West Alexandria leads, leads. And I'm going to put that in parentheses, leads, leads. That's my custom conversion. So now as I go run lead ads, I'm going to tell Facebook specifically about this conversion. And you'll see once we set up the ad. So here, I'm going to just simply name it. And I'm going to come down here to select your own category. The drop down recommended, I'm going to come down to lead. To me, this is a lead. And all I'm going to do is paste in that link. That's it. I'm going to paste in the link. I don't need the HTTPS or HTTP. I don't need any of that. I need www.soulbycassandra. And I don't even think I need the www. I think I just need, in fact, let's do that over. I think I just need, um, because I want to just get you guys in the right habit. I just need, actually, that's the landing page. I just need the domain. I don't need the www or any of that, right? So I'm going to take that. I'm going to paste it in over here. I'm going to hit create. Now here's what, so this whole Apple iOS thing, here's where we now just take a few more steps. No big deal. So now to use this custom conversion event for website ad campaigns, set it up to share data using aggregated event measurement. This is the whole Apple iOS thing. So go to settings. So it says here, in Business Manager, go to your settings to assign the custom conversion to your ad account, right? So the custom conversion, all I want to do right here, custom conversion, it's under data sources on the left. Everything is right here, business settings, custom conversion. I'm going to come over here, click on add assets. I'm going to add add it to the ad account, right? Add it to the ad account. Um, boom, that part's done. Now, also real quick, Cassandra, all you got to do is go to billing. All you got to do is go to billing and add your card. Okay, so that's all you got to do, the ad account. There needs to be a card or PayPal tied to that ad account. And that's all you're going to do is go to your folder, hit billing, and you'll be able to do it from, from right from right here. Okay, so, so back to the events manager. Now, what we want to do is we want to go instruction number two. In events manager, go to your domains, web configuration, and add this custom conversion. Okay, so right here, we're going to click on that. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna actually and and this domain hasn't been verified. This domain hasn't been been verified through GoDaddy, so we're not gonna be able to fully fully do it. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to. Damn it, we're not gonna be be able to fully fully do it. Um. Yeah, because the domain's not verified. But if that domain was verified, you guys, if that domain was verified, all you're gonna do is click on it. You're going to click on manage events. You know what? I'm going to show you in a, in a different account. Let me show you in a different account because I, I really want you guys to get this part. Okay, so here's what we're going to do, you guys. I'm going to use this account. We're going to click on this right here, manage events. Okay, and all you got to do is click on the blue button and you'll come over here to add events. You either see one right here, one highest priority. You'll see one row right here. If you don't see anything, just click on the green one, add events, and you'll add this first one. So here, all I'm doing is tying it to the pixel. So you'll see... Well, actually, it does it by default. It's right here by the pixel. But what I want is I want the custom conversion. Now, I just set up a custom conversion right now and named it this. But on, on the other example, a second ago, I used the address. So whatever my thank you page is, right? Whatever my thank you page is, I'll just, I'll just whatever it is, the address, I'll, I'll use that. That's the, that's the thank you page. That's the conversion page. That's the name of the custom conversion, just so I, it makes it easier for me, right? So in this case, let me go back to it. In this case, this is what I put for this one. This is actually a real live custom conversion that I got to set up. So um, so that's it actually worked out. That's that. You match that up with that, the custom conversion to the actual custom conversion you just created. Click apply. And that is it, you guys. Yes, confirm, apply. And now here's what we're going to do. We're going to click on OK. And now I'm going to come over here, hover over the triangle, go back to custom conversions. And now I want to... What I can do is I can simply go to my thank you page. So 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 I just added the pixel. I added the custom conversion. Facebook just read it for the first time right here. So now I can go back to my custom conversion page, refresh this. And now this pixel 
is now it's 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 inactive it'll go active in the next few minutes so now it's everything's connected it'll go active in the next few minutes um and this is a bookmark this is our last bookmark this is custom conversion so what you'll do is you'll always you'll always create a custom conversion you guys I'll run a thank you page. So it works with any business, man. If you're trying to give, if you're selling hats and you're trying to give me to your website, I click on the blue one. I click next, next, next. I enter my credit card. I click submit. I then land on a thank you for ordering page. That's your custom conversion page. I go to your calendar, right? Let's say you're you're in the you're in the client services business, and you're you're all about appointments. You need people on the phone, right? You're you're putting out all, all you're putting out all this social media content to to try to get people um, on 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 the phone, right? It's all about getting people to your calendar when they put Monday at noon to speak to you and they schedule an appointment. Schedule now. They click, they land on a thank you for scheduling page, a thank you page. That's your thank you page. So it applies to any business. I'm giving away a free download. Click here to download it now. You go to the first page, enter your name and email, send me my download now. Boom, you click the button, you land on the thank you page. It's the same for everything. So your thank you page, your thank you page is the confirmation page. That's your custom conversion. So now what do we have up here? In our folder, we have business settings, ad account, pixels, ads manager, billing, custom audiences, and custom conversion. That is it, you guys. When it comes to scaling Facebook ads, Instagram ads, when it comes to managing other other accounts, if you're an agency, a freelancer, and you're doing this for other businesses, this is what it's all about is those seven. Um and just taking it the next step, the next step higher, and and set up the actual business manager, and and no longer relying on your personal boosted account or your ads manager. Set up the business manager in 2023, you guys. That's how you do it. Bookmark your your top seven tabs, and I'll see you guys on the next page. <laughs> next page. I'll see you guys on the next video. Over and out.